We are off and racing at Hog Hill, and this is hands down my favourite crit course in the UK that I have raced. And it is the best crit course in the UK. It is mega. Look at this. Straight from the gun, balls to the wall, guys are pinging it. Absolutely love it. This is mega. Every lap, attack, attack, attack. There is nowhere to hide. It is just full gas. You've got... We're actually doing this course in reverse. The last time I raced it, we went up that hill that we've just absolutely nailed it down. But we're, what, 30 seconds in and everyone is pinging it down that hill. Love it. But you've got to have absolutely everything at this course. There's nowhere to hide. You've got to be good up the climb. You've got to be fast on the descent, comfortable in the group, hand, great handling around the corners. And it is just full on. The legs burn, the lungs burn. It's like an interval session. It's like a hit session. You, I mean, guys are just whacking it off the front straight away. Love it. And the thing is, just the elastic will stretch and eventually it will snap. If you haven't got the power up that climb, it is game over. But we need to shout out this guy in the blue kit here, the NFTL. He is... I've gone round to jump on his wheel, but this lad's an animal, right? He is the Remco of Hog Hill. The amount of work this lad done, shutting down gaps and just trying to get in breaks and that. Absolute animal. Fair play to him. But that little move that went straight away, come back. We're coming into the climb now. And like I was saying, it is like a hit session every time. You're either going full gas up this climb or someone's whacking it, attacking. There is just no let up. It gets strung out. And my plan of action tonight, last time I raced here, I got in a break. So my plan of action was to cover as many moves as I could. So you can see the guys are winding it up on the right. I'm like, ping, jump on that, get on the wheel. If something goes, I want to be in it. But... With the course round this way and that super fast descent, it was proving really hard to get away tonight, which you'll see in a minute. But that is the climb there that we just went up. It eases a little bit down this little bank in. We hit a right-hander and then it kicks up one last time towards the finish. This bit is a little bit spicy though. Watch here. Just kicking up. This guy's tried to go again off the front. Look, love it. But you see, once you start... Looking over the shoulder, you know you're not fully committed. Nothing really comes of that, and then it's all back together. But that is the lap. A good climb in it, a good descent, some cornering. You have got to love it. If you haven't raced here, you need to race here. Thursday nights, I'm going to be here this Thursday again because it is mega. It's worth the drive for me, but I do like going up the climb. So, But... Look at this, full gas down here. We're trying to shut down the matey on the front. And as I said, it all gets shut down and we all come back together. But then, you know, as soon as it gets shut down, someone's going to go again. Someone's going to go again. So we're coming back into the next one. Bang, someone goes again. You are like, here we go again. We're like, what, like... Two laps in, we were like almost catching the E12s. The start was ferocious. Just, it is just ping, ping, ping. Get on a wheel, hang on for dear life. Look, we're doing 500 watts, just absolutely nailing it. Boys are trying to go off the front. It's getting wound up. There were some strong, strong lads here tonight. Good climbers, powerful riders. And it was painful every time going up this climb but if you get to the top this is where you really want to nail it along here because look how much it eases because everyone is just suffering and you know that you've got to then kick it back up this next bit so I reckon there's about 30 of us racing something like that and look at this kicking it again kicking it guys are trying to go off the front and eventually that elastic's going to snap or you can't go with a move. But you've got to put yourself... So we're back round at the climb. Things are starting to wind up again. And you're just looking round. You're thinking, who's going to whack it this time? Who's going to whack it? Luckily, no one did. But then exactly where I said, someone whacked it over the top. And I was like, I've got to get on that move. So instantly, I've tried to bridge over to these three. Got on the wheel... And you'll see in the rear view camera now, we have got a little bit of a gap. Remco, 
is on the front. I don't know your name, sorry, pal, but you are Remco. Absolute machine. Look, he's he's tucked right down and he is pinging on the front. And, I mean, the guy's a legend. If you want to get in a breakaway, that's the guy you want with you because he is put in a shift. But you can see Kingston Wheelers wants me to shut down this gap. I'm like, no, sir, not today. Do not get back in your lane. Go on, you can shut that down. I'm not playing them games. But we've got a little bit of a gap. But unfortunately, we're only like nine minutes in. The peloton super motivated and it just... It instantly got shut down by the time we got back to the climb. And you can see here, yet again, we're pinging it up the climb. This lad on in the red, white and blue, strong, strong climber. You can see he's just nudged it over the top there. But nothing came of our original attack. And it was relentless, that climb, every time. You can see here, when the pace eases like this, we were a little bit slower. You know someone's going to whack it. So just before that, the pace had eased and then bang, it's whacked again up the climb. And you've just got to, you've, sometimes when you've tried to get in a break, at these points you've got to hang on. But I see that move going and I'm on red, the red and blue guy's wheel and I'm like, we've got to go with that. If you look at the rear camera, you can see like... In the blink of an eye, gaps get opened here. But yet again, nothing came of that move. And you can see here, everyone's eased into the climb because you ease off because you know something's going to come. So just here, you can see the moves start to go. People start hitting it hard. That lad in the uh, white kit that I said a minute ago, real strong climber, goes again. I'm like, you've got to shut that down. If something goes, you need to be in it. So instantly... I shut that down, jump on his wheel, and then I look over my shoulder coming into here. I see there's a little bit of a gap. That elastic is starting to stretch now. And I come out of this corner and I absolutely whack it, but I whack it a little bit too hard. And it's not often I say that, but coming up here, I looked over and realized I was on my own. Now, I want to get, get away, but I do not want to do it on my own because I will just burn all my matches and it'll be game over. But you'll see here, if you look in the rear view camera, I hear an up, up. This lag comes past me like an absolute steam train, right? I needed a rocket up my backside to get on his wheel. He's come motoring past. And I was like, instantly flicked the elbow. I was like, I cannot shut that down. He was flying, trying to get us away. And that's the sort of move you want, but I just didn't have it after the climb to react fast enough to get on his wheel straight away. He was absolutely motoring, but yet again, nothing came of that. And everything was just getting shut down, shut down. And then you'll see here some guys on the left were coming back into the climb, starting to wind it up. This was a sneaky little attack off the front. And I think it's number 23 here. The guy on the green bike to my left. This is a monumental attack from him. Big, strong attack. You can see he starts to wind it up. Bang. He goes. I'm like, go with it. Go with it. Go with it. And I'm thinking, holy cow, this is hurting now. I'm like, just get on his wheel and stay on it. You can see, look in the rear view camera, everyone's trying to get on it. It gets so strung out, strung out, strung out. And I think a little gap did open here, but you can see you just got to ease. So there is a tiny little gap. There's three of us here. I've come through, done my little bit on the front down this descent. I'm not going to lie. This is the easiest place. If you are going to do a turn, you want to do it on the on the descent. I mean, you still got to put out watts, but you can't really go much faster because you know there's corners coming. Flip my elbow. Matey pulls through. But even to get on the, this 23 is an animal. Even to get on his wheel, I was like, hell, here we go. And we did have a tiny bit of a gap, but absolutely nothing came of it again and it was all back together by the bottom of the climb but you can see here yet again whack we're at the climb guys are winding it up this guy's put in a strong strong attack now it's about a 45 minute race every time up this climb it is pinging it is pinging 23 goes again and this time i did not have the legs to go with him he's only just gone on the last lap and then snap, he goes again. I tried to follow the move. I didn't have the legs. I was like, that. it was one too many at that point for me. Someone comes past. I'm like, I just need riders to come past now and then get on a wheel because that one hurt. The fact that he'd done it 
twice in a row. They got a little bit of a gap, but literally, yet again, this descent was just so fast and there was just such strong lads that it was just getting shut down. So by the time we got back to the climb, it was all back together again. And then you just know your eyes are jumping out of their sockets and you're thinking, who's going to attack? And then bang! Someone goes again. You're like, please give me a break. This course is relentless. You have got to love it. You Have you seen this many attacks? Every time up this climb, someone pings it. You've seen them two lads absolutely ping it, got away. I'm like, come on, Remco, do me a favour. And he's, he's on the front again. I mean, I haven't put all the footage of him on the front, but... Believe me, I've had to condense this video down. He done some work. But the two that got away, you can see here, all come back together again. Absolutely no surprise. But you get to the climb again and you, you're just looking round. You're like, right, who's going to do it this time? And there, the guy's going off the front. And I'm like, I've got to go with this move now. I've had some time to recover from when 23 absolutely tore my legs to pieces. And I was like, just jump on, go with it, see if anything comes of it. And at the top, you can see we're, we're getting in a little bit of a formation, but really, yet again, nothing came of it. It all comes back together. So with nothing getting away, the boys tried a little bit of a different move here before they got to the climb this time. They pinged it, strung it out. You can see a couple of lads off the front. And I thought, maybe this move will work, just stringing it out before the climb, putting the hurt on first but then yet again it just comes back together nothing came of it but we are coming through the finish line now and it is three laps to go and it starts to hot up everyone is pinging this was the big move of the race you'll see the guy there on the right bang absolutely wax it no one gets on his wheel straight away and he really opens it up over the top look at that the, the guy that I said was a great little climber in the red-white kit here tries to go with it. I instantly jump on his wheel. Look at the gaps that have opened up. But just here, we ease. We shouldn't have eased here because that let the guy get away. But that attack he put in was painful. He really put the hurt on everyone. But you can see that gap he's opened up. And just here, I'm like, three to go. Ping it. Try and bridge over. Don't take anyone with you. Ping it, ping it, ping it. I realised I wasn't closing it and I was like, I need to sit back, get back in the bunch and we need to close this together. So coming through, we got like, was that the three lap to go Two? It might have been two laps to go there. But he stayed off the front for a while. So you can see just up ahead, there's a guy you can see in red and blue. He tried to bridge over to the guy that was out front. Didn't manage to do it. Yet again, I'm on white and red's wheel because he's a good, good climber. If you want a wheel to find, follow this guy. But you'll see here, he tried to bridge. Nothing come of it. And if you look just down the track at the bottom corner, you can see the guy dangling out on front, out in front. But the main thing was that I could tell. We could just see him and you could see him looking over his shoulder a lot. And you're thinking, I've been in that position before. And you know it's hurting them and you know he doesn't really, he's not fully committed and doesn't want to be out there. But the chase was tough. But he put in a super strong effort. So we're two laps to go now. Well, two times up this climb now and he's still away off the front. Fair play to him. I think he got through the bell lap before it got shut down. This Rafa guy... He's starting to look real strong. Look, he's pulling us along. And you can just see, like, in the rear view camera, it's getting strung out now. So we've come through the line. It is one to go. We've brought it all back together. And it is going to be full gas. Once we get to that climb, it's every man for himself. Exactly how I like it. Pin it. Hope for the best. But I was super surprised. I thought the pace was going to ease massively. But if you look, you can see the Kingston Wheelers guy on the front. And I was super surprised to see that anyone wanted to lead this out now and do a turn. Because it is quite windy around this course. But fair play, Kingston Wheelers decided to take it up and try and put as much hurt on before the climb as possible. So a lot of respect for that. He stays on the front 
all the way around this whole section and he's really stringing it out. We're doing 31, 32 mile an hour and he must have been putting down some ponies on the front but fair play to him. You'll see the guy has just moved up, a guy in a black kit in the rear view camera just moved up to my right so I've had to take this corner a little bit wider and I've let him slot in. So I'm in a good position here. I'm fifth wheel. Kingston Wheelers is leading it out basically and I was thinking if he's got the legs for the climb fair play but just here the guy in the black I saw the gap opening to the wheel to 23 and I shouted a little up up and he did close the gap but at the same time he then just whacked it straight round and I was like that is a long way to go from there son but I'm I'm looking and I'm thinking do we need to go with that Kingston Wheelers is still on the front drilling it and that guy in the black kit look you'll see here I've just poked out to have a look he got a bit of a gap but I think the lights went out he went too early it went pop this is it now 23 was strong earlier. Rafa starts kicking and he really winds it up here. He is winding it up, pings it. I'm like, you've got to go with it, got to go with it. Hang in there. This was hurting now. You can see I'm just losing the wheel and I'm super disappointed watching this back. Look how much I ease now. We've got like 300 metres left. Why are you easing and letting a gap go like that? Get on the wheel, stay on it. I come round, I'm now in fourth. I tried to kick it up here. I lose another spot, drop back to fifth. Didn't quite have it on that final little bit when it mattered. I should have got on the wheel, dug in, but fifth place. So unfortunately didn't have it on that final climb when it mattered. I just eased up on that little flat section, which I shouldn't have done. Had to, should have just kept nailing it, get on it. But when it's hurting, sometimes you just don't have that little bit you need. And unfortunately tonight I didn't. But back in the points, that is a fifth place finish. So can't be too disappointed with that. Super tough race. And if you ever get the chance to come and race Hog Hill, it is a mega circuit. Can't recommend it enough unless you hate climbing. You're probably not going to like it at all. But it is brutal. Just attack after attack. Absolutely love it. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.